his play with Zato has been really interesting. But uh, the Zato Vera is, is something else. And he actually played it recently in the grand finals of the Panda Global uh, PC Bamboo Battle. Uh, against, uh, I think, Macho Mexican. So, you know, he's had a little experience in the Zato. <laughs> Zato Why is it already? called the Bamboo Battle? Man? It just it makes me laugh every time. I don't know. <laughs> There's something about that. But it looks <laughs> yeah. like it is a mirror. Uh, one cool thing about this matchup, at least, is you can tell which Eddie and which Zato is which because their entire color changes, right? So you can see which color is which for which man, Eddie man, just by looking at the character, and it gives it away. So instead yeah. of reflecting oh man like hopefully neither of them is playing the all white zata oh that's cheating actually you <laughs> this is wait this on is, the snow stage that's actually cheating this is like the smug tech all over again you pick the same color on this stage that's their band <laughs> i'm gonna may i call the shots cheating oh, oh, man. this intro is so sick <laughs> yeah this character's cool Alrighty, oh yeah, it's white, white and purple, I see. So Dogra in the purple, it looks like here. Uh, and yeah, Eddie's out early. Doesn't get both hits of the leap, but uh, the drill pressure jumps out of the 5D. And that's something that is really good about this character. So when he gets pressure, he can actually use his uh, Eddie pressure along with the dust so that he can get something off of it, which I think is really strong, honestly. It's something about this character that I think really makes 5D a scary option, when for a lot of characters, it's not. Yeah, for sure. You, normally, when you fight, like do the uncharged uh, dust, you have to spend some resources to combo off of it. But Zato, you know, he can just combo off of it with Eddie and get like pretty good damage off of it. That doesn't have Eddie there, but had the 50 meter to combo off of it with the RC. Yeah, and just doing 2S drill to try to get some space. One thing about this character too, ah, oh, nice 6P. I was going to say that it, it's kind of difficult to hit him out of the air. And so 6P is a good option when he's coming down like that, because I think regular anti-airs, at least in my experience, have not been super consistent. Yeah, for sure. The 6P for, for Zato doesn't really lead to like a, a knockdown, so to speak, like on a ground hit. You kind of, ooh, nice throw by, by uh, Nokami there. That, that's definitely a big part of uh, Nokami's gameplay. He really opts to use the the normal throw with Zato more than the command throw, I'd say. And yeah. uh, throws them into the frog. Oh, that was a bait on the YRC, but yeah, it was already backdashing, yeah. so not a lot to get there. And yeah, the little piercer. Had Eddie do the work for him. So long first round, but no Nokami gets the better of it. Yeah, yeah. That was a big thing I talked about earlier. Uh, using YRC versus Otto to b beat the little Eddie. It was really good, really good recognition by Nokami to avoid it and uh, not get his little Eddie killed. So Dogra wins the Eddie battle here. Gets the uh, close slash into the 2D. Something that, you know, you have to watch out for in the corner. Oh, no. Yeah. So I think a, a lot of the times people try to get hit or they backdash to try to escape the Eddie pressure, but good Zato players will confirm that, you know, and really take advantage of it. Yeah, yeah. I think he was afraid of Dogra going for the command grab there. Probably went for the backdash to get a punish on it, but, you know, he just kept doing the Eddie pressure and uh, got the really good corner combo there. Yeah, I guess the counter nice. hit good. on the far S. Finally get a... some Eddie pressure here. YRC, Eddie's gone, just like that. Yeah, smart, right? You have to do that. And yeah. Frog there ran out of Eddie gauge, so... This is pretty good. Oh, uses the sword. That actually oh. air to airs, and it puts Eddie out. Yeah, so sandwiched here. Gets low, but no confirm off of it. Nice. Yeah, he tried to jump out of that. He's just doing pressure without Eddie, and it's enough to kill him with just the regular throw. Damn. Applying the offense, he didn't even need little Eddie to do it. Eddie just gets the kill there with the throw. That was really good stuff by yeah, Perry. Regular throw into the OTG after, and... You know, I think that's something that Nokami, as you mentioned, really likes a lot. He likes to do a pose or just run up into regular throw. It's a really common yeah. option, and honestly, it's really solid. Like, I, I think that this character is very scary because, you know, you're always in this kind of pressure. Yeah, charge dust behind the uh, drill, and, you know, that's the pressure we see a lot. Have to be careful. Yeah, that's a little bit surprising. You know, I thought he would do the uncharged dust uh, to combo off the Eddie because, you know, the uncharged dust is a lot faster, a lot harder to react to. But he went for like the greedier oh. kind of charged dust, gets the command grab. That was so sick. They both did leap, right? And just like the Eddie's <laughs> clash in the air. It's just like, yep. Mm -hmm. Empty oh, low. Man. That was nice. Gets the meaty drill. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, something to note actually about Zato is if you break a throw with him, that actually counts as like a hit on Zato and also kills little Eddie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it prevents situations where like you're as you're reeling from a throw, then you know you just got Eddie doing He's something. You're like, yeah, 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 please stop. <laughs> uh, yeah. But that's always how it happens. So, yeah, I mean, oh wow, that gold burst barely wow. hit. But that is a really rough spot to find yourself. Yeah, I guess spending the meter here on defense is fine, but oh, 
the RC. That was beautiful. Yeah, you can't combo off of the close, uh, off the two S into the drill there, unless it's a counter hit. It was a normal hit, and he confirms into the the RC to get the combo. That was really good awareness by Nokami. Wouldn't have got the kill anyways. There it is. That's the Nokami classic. Throw them into the uh, into the oppose. Yeah, just unfortunately the two H didn't reach right there. I think maybe a little dash would have helped, but Wall is gonna break here. Does not use the super at the wall break. I actually would have been close to killing if he did a Morphous, but I guess maybe saving the meter instead. Yeah, I mean, Nokami's got full control of this match already. Yeah, oh, nice. the good anti air by Nokami. That was so clean by him. And yeah, like, you know, the experience, I feel like in, in the Zato mirror, like very recently, I feel like kind of paid off. He was really in control of that match the whole time. Didn't really feel too out of their element. I feel like a lot of players when they play the mirror match, look a little a little off, right? They're a little bit confused. It's like, what, I'm fighting my own character? Come on. But, yeah, like, you know, what's happening here? played that super well. What, what's funny, too, is that, you know, a lot of these, like, kind of scrambly situations, I think, really paid off. Yeah, just runs up, hits 2H, says, yeah, this will probably hit. Yeah, this, this seems like a pretty good move. But, yeah, I mean, no Nokami, I think, like, you know, a lot of those situations were very scrambly, right? And just made the better of a lot of them. I think Dogra... Didn't really get a lot of the momentum. And in a matchup like this, if your Eddie dies and you're stuck on defense, I mean, Zato really struggles there. And so, you know, regardless of whether it's the mirror, uh, you know, being on defense against this character is pretty rough. Yeah, OTG. not a whole lot of defensive options. His fastest button, you know, uh, like I was saying earlier, the slowest buttons in this game are six frames. And, he, and Zato is one of those characters whose fastest button is a six frame attack. So it's really hard to get out of some offense uh, as him. Yeah, especially because, you know, you want fast buttons to challenge uh, in between gaps where you can hit Zato yeah. if the Eddie pressure is not tight. And, you know, we saw a lot of that in this matchup, right? There's a lot of moments where other characters maybe could have challenged the run up and hit Eddie or something. And just in that situation, it, it didn't even come up. So excellent work. No yeah. Kami putting the U.S. back on the board. So it's three to two after the first five matches that we've had so far. Nice. Good stuff to Nokami. Also, happy birthday to Nokami. Oh, yeah. Shoutouts to him. Yeah, happy birthday, Nokami. <laughs> get some birthdays. Happy birthdays in the chat. <laughs> Dang, perfectly timed. Yeah, I, nice. I didn't even realize. I totally forgot that that was today. I saw people tweeting about uh, happy birthday, so that's awesome. I mean, it's really cool, too, because, you know, uh, what's it called? He could try to uh, 